donate the turkeys for us. Thank you, God. And we're going to have, I have the sign-up sheet that I'm going to pass around so everybody can bring either desserts or sides, okay? I'm also going to send out an email blast this week for everybody, too, because, you know, you can just start signing this. And again, it's going to be the first weekend in November. And it'll be in here again. We'll have it just like last year in here. November 7th? Yes. Let's all open in prayer. Our everyone will bow their heads. Father God, thank you so much for this Sunday school class. Even though, even though it's on Saturday, I thank you so much for Pastor Larry who always shepherds us and leads us in the way that we should go. And I thank you for each and every seat that's filled, and even for the seats that aren't filled, Father, that you know where they are, and we're just trusting that one of these days you'll fill them up to capacity. And we just want to be thankful a lot for Pastor Larry because this is Pastor Appreciation Month, and you know our class wouldn't be where it is without his leadership and his guidance and his shepherd. So with that, we thank you, we love you, and all God's people said. Amen. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Lynn. Saturday night service, and we were asked to meet on Saturday nights, and Charlie couldn't, and Larry volunteered, and here he is. For those of you who haven't taken the opportunity to really get to know him, you're doing yourself a disservice. This is a man, and, and when I say realize, as Pastor David says, behind every good pastor, there's a good woman. And Marty is there. And when Larry goes out and, and meets us, like he's done for me at the hospital at midnight when I woke up paralyzed, Marty was there to say go. And didn't wait up for him because she didn't worry about him going through the difficult times I've gone through lately, I've met with Larry for a while there every week. And Marty was there to say, go ahead and go. I had the pleasure of, of um, meeting with both of them on bre for breakfast occasionally. And what a blessing it is, the time I get to share with Larry. Like I said, I could go on, but what I'd like to say to you guys, if you don't, you need to realize he is a pastor. He's not just our Bible study teacher, he's a pastor. I was fortunate enough to be there when he was inaugurated or 
um, instantaneously one evening or weekend. We had no more study. Our leader, we don't know what happened to him. But um, he took us in, our ragtag band of misfits and miscreants. Welcome us in to your humble abode, and we were shell shocked, we were dismayed, and well, we felt welcome. And um, it meant a lot because uh, ever since that day, I haven't felt like a stranger or an alien. So, um, and then especially this year, um, without talking too much about me, I just, uh, it meant a lot for Pastor Larry and his wife to uh, be there for me in one of the most uh, challenging times and uh, just help direct me uh, when I had a loss in my life and it speaks volumes and you speak to all of us on a daily basis and uh, Marty, your smile, I gotta admit, you don't even have to say a word sometimes, just your hug and your smile and, and, and welcoming grace this means a lot to us. I could be uh, missing for a week, a month because of work and like nothing like, uh, skipped a beat. I'm just back. And it's the same for all of us. So thank you for sowing into our lives the Word of God. And most importantly, I should say thank you for allowing God to direct you on a daily basis to uh, lead us all. Thank You two have both impressed me with your heart for the hurt. You know, they say that sometimes people don't read the Bible. The only Bible they're going to read is watching you. You two are the kind of Bible that we all should be. I came to this class because of Sarita. We used to sit in front in the second row. He goes, you got to come with me to this class. So I came to this class. And she keeps bringing new people. I love this family. And I love being here every Saturday night. Because of this class, I've become closer by serving. I serve in the morning on Sunday now at the front desk. And I'm in the prison ministry. And I'm just trying to be wherever we're needed, but because of this class, I got connected. <clears throat> and we all went to see Trans-Siberian last, last Christmas, mm -hmm. and it was a great, great, great show. And on my way home, my car broke. Right on Sawgrass by commercial, and I says, oh my gosh, who am I going to call? I said, well, Larry's got to come this way because he's coming to go home. So I call him, he stops. And it was about maybe 10 o'clock by then. He was out there till 2 o'clock in the morning. And he 
until the tow truck finally came. There was actually two different tow trucks. And because of Marty's triple A, I got a free towing to my house. But we also thought it was the gas, and we went and we got gas, and we put gas in the car, and it wouldn't start. It was a timing belt, it was a head gasket. Well, Irwin knows he fixed my car. But um, <clears throat> who would do that? It's so amazing. You know, my family didn't even answer the phone, but Larry and Marty did. <clears throat> and so, I am so thankful for them. I'm so thankful for this class. And I know you just recently had a um, wedding anniversary. So I'd like to honor you with the dance. Thank you. Oh, by the way, this is my ex-husband singing. <laughs>
be that one. <laughs> um, I, I just want to recall something because, you know, um, we come to church and we, we get filled spiritually and sometimes we, we forget where, what things should be. Um, I had a situation once where somebody robbed me. I was very angry with him. And, you know, the old master set me straight. And he said, you know, as a Christian, you're supposed to forgive. Can't hear you. I'll talk about that. Um, you, you're supposed to forgive. And, um, well, my mind wasn't telling me that. I was ready to, you know, go after this person. Uh, but he talked sense to me. And he said, call them. Let them know you forgive them. And I did that. And lo and behold, it came out of my mind from that day. I never carried it. I don't care about it again. And uh, I wish that person well, but you know what? It does not affect me again. So for things like that, we have a pastor. And thank you so much, Pastor Larry. Appreciate it. Yeah, but... 